The Animal Welfare League on Sydney's Western Fringe is the home of second chances. She's a little Australian terrier mix. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Here, dedicated staff and volunteers match the orphaned and abandoned with their forever families. Hi. Oh, hello. Can't believe this, I'm crying. And while sometimes it's a miss, <laughs> there's no mistaking true love when it strikes straight to the heart. At the Animal Welfare League, dogs come in all shapes and sizes, and today is no different. Hey, I've got beautiful Ella here who's ready to be picked up. Awesome, I'll be up in a second. Thank you. This is Ella. Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, it's hard, I guess, looking at surrenders. Um, especially really sweet ones like this. Here in the shelter, dogs are overlooked for a lot of different reasons. Um, sometimes they can get overlooked just for the way that they look. The big, buffy, staffy, sort of bully breed head. That tends to get overlooked because a lot of people think that they're vicious, which is the biggest misconception. You have staffies. I've oh, had a staffie. The best dogs. Um, that is the personality of a staffie. Big snuggle bombs. Stage I wish... five clingers. I oh, know. <laughs> See, good boy, Harley. We've had some dogs that have been with us for quite long periods of time. We usually just call them long-termers. It can be really difficult for us who know those dogs so well when they're overlooked to understand why people can't see past what they might think of flaws and realize that actually on the inside, they're beautiful. We'll find you at home eventually. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know, it could have be a missing tooth or a missing leg and someone looks at them and goes, oh, I don't want that dog, which is you know, also quite upsetting. Given their chance, those dogs will blossom in their home environment. Come on, Harley! Good boy. Oh, I've never. Yeah, I've, 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 I've actually wanted this day to happen for ages. Sisters Rebecca and Dana have come to the Animal Welfare League looking for an extra special addition to their family. It's cool. It's like, am I going to meet the one? Yeah, it's like a lot of pressure. I'm Rebecca and I am Levi and Harry's mum. And I'm Dana and I'm their auntie. Oh my gosh, how good is it being an auntie? <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh, we live together. Yeah, oh, so we yeah, all live yeah, together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, it's a fun house. Yes. yes. That's yeah. awesome. And what do you guys love about your auntie? Uh, so that we can finally get a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Levi's been wanting a dog is. I don't think you knew what a dog was. Yeah, like, but when I got older, when I knew what a dog was, um, I've been just wanting a dog for ages. Maybe when we get our dog, we can do a photo shoot like this. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are we today? Yeah, yeah. good morning. Yes, excited. excited. I was going to yeah. say. Yeah. Excited yeah. and nervous. Yeah, like, wow, <laughs> everything. Cool. And you guys all live together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We all live yeah. together. Yeah. So we have a, a unique family dynamic, and we call ourselves the tribe. Our bigger family, like immediate yeah. family, and the other bits and pieces on that is called the village. So yeah. that's what we call it. So if there's something going on, it's like, okay, the village steps in. What's it like living with your sister as an adult, I guess? Yeah. yeah it's all right. Like, yeah. It's all pretty... right. It's very, yeah. <laughs> it's very yeah, good. Know. Just all right. No, it's good. It's really nice, actually. We've always been really, really super close. We don't see ourselves as just, just sisters. sisters. Yeah. You know, we are really good friends and mm. we do spend a lot of time together purely by choice. Having Dana come and live with us been amazing. It's just me and the boys at home and just having, you know, some company for me. Really good. Yeah, it's been really good. So tell us, what does this ideal dog look like? Oh, God. Well, I don't know what it looks like. No. Because I think that's something we, we're we open to breed, but I think yep. it's sort of... It has to be small to medium. Yeah, she's okay. she's not keen on a I big dog. I don't want a big dog. We don't have a big house. Yeah. Okay. And mm -hmm. I think with the kids as well, especially Levi. But the dog can't be as big as him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think okay. he finds it quite overwhelming. Well, I'm not getting a dog unless it doesn't jump. <laughs> Levi does not like jumpy dogs. Yeah. yeah. Levi's a bit shy of them. Levi. <laughs> Levi loves emotion. Emotion. Emotions emotion. on the seventh. Oh, look at this. But that's yep. why with the dog it will get so much love. Oh, Levi's Levi. very. Levi will be lying very... on the floor. Yeah. Okay. It. okay. So we need right. a dog that's going to be okay with that's lots, deal with lots, that. Of yeah. lots of attention. Yeah. Yep. And another thing for me, because I do want. 
type of dog that can go with me anywhere. Okay. okay. Um, but we also want a dog that if we do go out, okay. it it's not going to fret. We literally want a dog that like, is like, like that, us. That is literally <laughs> our us because that's what we like. We're social people, but we like our but own we time. But we all like well. our own time. And I catch her meditating. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I meditate all the time out the back. <laughs> How'd you go? Good. Family looking for the perfect dog. Literally. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yes. The boys are nine and seven. Yeah. Um, and the youngest boy is not confident with large dogs. Okay. Yep. So anything that's going to sort of, I guess, be jumpy, bouncy. Yeah. You know, very cool. excited. Okay. This is like, a, you know, the day. Yeah. yeah. He said it's like a wedding day. <laughs> yeah. No, awesome. <laughs> Let's find a dog to... Oh, I love him. Nice. Sweet boy. Oh, big Harley. Boy. He's a young, big... <laughs> Rough head staffy. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's been so hard to bring home just simply because of his size. I think his head is because it's so big, people can't That's get right. there by a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but right. we know he's super social with people, he absolutely loves dogs. Um, he's a cuddle bug. Yeah. Um, he's that activity level where it's good to go for, good run, mm. and then he'll pretty much tired the rest of the day. He's a great option. He's just, yeah, like I think he's going to be too big, and yeah. I think he does occasionally jump up, and the he youngest does, yeah. boy, yeah. he's going to be frightened, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Harley. Shame. What about um, Piker, guys? He's, he's a cuddle. He is a cuddle bug. I love him. And the boys, the thing that they want to do more than anything is cuddles for days. Seven years. He's not old. He's not young. He's yeah. right there in the middle. Yeah. He when he first came in, he was a little bit shy, but he's warmed up very quickly, and his confidence has grown quite good. And he'd be, I reckon, he'd be fine with kids. I mean, the boys were talking about wanting to put their face in the dog's face, which obviously we'll tell them is not a thing. But yeah. I feel like they're going to be very tactile and very much all over whichever dog we choose, is he going to cope with that? <sighs> no, track, no, maybe? I recommend not that. Right See, you go back to Harley. Harley's a dog you get. That's, fun. yeah, exactly right. Difficult situation. They're going to have to compromise. Yeah. They're going to have to take the dog that they need in the body that they don't want, mm. or the body that they want, but not quite the personality yeah. that they need. Yeah. yeah. You see what they say? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get Harley out of the shelter. That's right. Okay. So, we've had um, a bit of a difficult time, I won't lie, finding okay. something that fits all of you. Um, it's a boy. His oh, name is Harley. Oh, Harley! Okay. That's cute. He's okay. about two and a half years old. Oh, oh that's, okay. that's good. He's the biggest snuggle bug on the planet. Now, he's a dog who's going to really take all the overhandling that the boys are going to offer. He loves cuddles. He does. One question. Yeah. Does he jump? Look, we've had to compromise a little bit, that's guys. Okay. You'll be okay. Um, You'll be all right. Harley's a bit bigger than what you okay. were looking for. All right. Now, we had to really focus in on the personality for you because yeah. we need something that if the boy's, mm, he's going to go, okay. <laughs> he um, is a staff favourite here at the shelter. Okay. Be, exactly. Because of boy. personality. He's, he there is a compromise on his, okay. he's, so um, he's an American staffy. Rebecca's <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> How long has he been here? Cool. A little bit. We're finding it really hard to rehome Harley just oh, due really? to his size. How are we feeling? Boys, you don't look that impressed. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. I want to meet him. Ah, oh, okay. Cool. All right, guys. Sounds All right. good. Yeah. Exciting. All right, let's go. <laughs> Best of luck, boys. Have you, have you enjoyed it? Too? I'm feeling a bit excited to meet a dog because I've been wanting a dog for ages. But um, um, when Daddy left, Mummy said we couldn't get one. When Dana moved in, it's pretty much like an extra helper for us and Mummy. And I was in my head. Yeah. Gonna be exciting. What I love about living with Rebecca and the boys is just being part of a family. I think a family can mean anything, and I, we kind of redefine that. It used to be three boys to one girl. Now it's equal two girls, two boys. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, that's Yee! the norm. Oh, that's the norm. That's cool. Well, this is a beautiful little spot to oh, wow. meet our meet Harley. I think getting a dog will just complete our tribe. I think it's definitely going to bring us closer and just yeah. having that one little thing that is all of ours. Yeah. Who's going to pick up the food? Yes! yes. No! Yes! yes. <laughs> yeah. Please make the dog come soon. <laughs> this is Harley. He's two and a half years old and he's a staffy mix. He's a really loving, smoochy boy. He can be a little bit timid, but once he gets to know you, he's really goofy. Oh, you got your toy. You got your toy. Uh, every time he goes out for a walk, he has to bring a toy with him. And then when he gets a new toy, he has to bring it over and show every single person. Good job. I'm really hoping he gets out of here. He's such a sweet.
pop and just a massive cuddle bug. Wait, I, I saw some. False alarm. Oh, uh, false alarm. Come on. Good job. Okay, get you. You just stay on the box with you already, okay? Yeah. I know Harley's been in this pen a few times now and he's not been successful, so I really just want to tell him, come on, Harley, just be chill for the first few minutes. <laughs> it's going, it's going, he's telling us all the time. Oh, oh, God. God. I'm really nervous. Yeah. I think you're black. I think you're black. Oh, my God. Long-term resident Harley the Staffy Cross is hoping to charm his way into a new family home. Oh, I'm really scared. I think he's black. I think he's black. Oh, my God. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Hi, good. Hi. Oh, smile. Oh, good. Everyone smiles all around. Oh. oh. I don't know. We can have one person come up and meet him at a time. So whoever wants to start can come up and uh, say hello. Uh, oh, Harry. Good boy. Good boy, Harry. So he good is a little around. bit timid. Um, yeah. So you can see he's sort of popped on the ground. Yeah. He's just a little bit nervous. Yeah. Um, so that's like why we... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's in the room. He can come up. I'll give you some treats if you want. He's very sweet. He's just a big love bug. He just he thinks he's the size of a chihuahua. Yeah. Okay. Good boy. It's, he thinks he is. He's just excited. Look at his tail. Okay. Yeah. You know, Harley's so big. Is he 37, 38 kilos? Mm. I mean, he's, he's bigger than they wanted, but I think, yeah, I think personality-wise, that's what they want. Personality, personality, personality. Yeah. And I mean, that... Th Do you want us to go first? Yeah, I was going to say, maybe yeah, I'll be there to go first. Go first. Yeah. Right. That was nice that he tried. Oh, come on, Harley. Poor man. He's been overlooked so many times because of how he looks. Oh. got this, you know, big, tough look to him, oh and he's God. just a big stalk. He looks like a tiger, doesn't he? Yeah, he really does. He actually does. Oh, oh very oh, good. Oh, 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 oh. I am a little worried about the youngest boy, Levi. I think he's feeling a bit intimidated. He just yes. went over to mum and, yeah. Yeah, come You know, in. did the behaviour that we've seen of quite a few kids do when yeah. faced with a large dog. Yeah. They're so good, eh? Hello. You want to sit down? Sit down next to me, darling. It's all right. Yeah. You want to come and say hello? I'll give you guys a couple more treats. Thank you. Just, Thank you. Just that first little... Just take Levi a little bit. Yeah, that's time to enough. warm up. Levi leads with emotion. You know, he empathises with people a lot. So I think having a dog, he will just care for that dog like it is the most important thing in the whole world. It's all right, Levi, you're doing good. Did you want to try and give him another treat? No, that's okay. <laughs> Abraham and Marina have decided the time is right to adopt a perfect puppy pal. Today must be a really big day. I can tell you were super excited. Was it mainly your idea? Yeah, I always wanted uh, my dog. Yeah, yeah. So Abraham has got his cat. So, oh, yes. No, it's the time. It's time. It's, it's time. the right time. <laughs> yeah. We have been together 37 years. We've been married 37 years. Yes. So we've known each Since other nearly... 30, 80 years. Hey, Ram, what do you love about her? Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything. Marina, she's a very kind, very big-hearted person. And she's always there for someone who needs help. Yeah. Someone's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the meeting pen. Harley the Staffy Cross is proving a little too much dog for anxious Levi. It's alright, just give him a pat. I'm just giving him a pat. It's not going to bite you. Okay? It's not going to bite you. He's trying so hard to be friends with Levi. He oh, is, he's yeah. So I think, you know, it'd, be, it'd probably be time for... Yeah, it'll um, take time. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Harley. That's alright, just, just in there. there. Just like in there. He he's not going to change at all. How he's been acting, Levi. Good boy. Yay. Oh, that's really cute. Oh. Oh, so bravely far. Well done. See, he's so gentle. Just like he's the way you are. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. It's pretty rare to get a dog like <laughs> a dog like this through a shelter. Unfortunately, these kind of dogs get overlooked because of the mm. way they look, and unfortunately, because of their breed. Yeah. And we know yeah. we see some of these dogs come through our shelter. They're absolutely gorgeous, and we yeah. know they're brilliant dogs. Um, and I think <laughs> Harley's a good advocate for that. <laughs> he, he does yoga too. Look at that. <laughs> oh, it's a Great downward dog. <laughs> Harley, 
give him a hug. Oh, oh, you like that one? He likes that one. Oh, there you well go. Done. And he's, oh, he's, he's really there. trying to interact with the kids. It's cute. He likes the kids. He does. He, does. he enjoys them. Go, Levi. Hi, you having fun? Yeah, How would you guys feel about taking him for a walk? Yes. No, I'm good. Good. no I want to hold him. Yeah, we're going to just let Auntie Dana do it for a first and then you go out this way. Yeah. Right. Good boy. It's taken us a while to find the right home for Harley and I'm really hoping that this is it because, uh, you know, he, he's so deserving of, of his second chance. Oh, yeah. You're doing so well. You're doing beautifully. So well. I did have a few concerns about his size. Levi can get quite overwhelmed by a large dog. I think we just need to make sure that Harley is right for all of us. All right, your turn, Harry. Yay. Come on. After 37 years of marriage, Abraham and Marina are hoping to add a new furry family member into their home. Hello. 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 Are we here to get a dog today? Yes. 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 Well, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. So what does your dream dog look like, you guys? Um, my dream dog uh, is a small dog, um, lap dog or uh, which is good with cats. So we have a cat in the house? Yes. What's this cat's name? Kit Kat. Kit Kat. <laughs> Beautiful name. It's good chocolate as well. Yes. <laughs> the house is all hers. Okay. Uh, she's oh, the no, queen yeah. of the house. Yeah. Yep. Does she have a favourite? Of course. Yeah. It's yeah. a favourite. I was going to say. <laughs> as soon as I leave, she follows me. She goes everywhere with me. She's been with us for uh, 10 years. Yeah. And she's a far fussy cat, of course. And she's very territorial. So we'll see how it goes with the dog. <laughs> So, Marina, this dog is going to be for you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he has Kit Kat and you're going to have the dog? Yes. Yeah. My baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, why is now a good time for a dog? Mm. I recently went through a loss. Mm. My father passed away oh, just a month ago. Sorry about that. That's okay. Um, so, I'm... Uh, yeah, yeah the, they can. And, unconditional uh, love. Yeah, and they yeah. can. Yeah. Unconditional yeah. love, yeah. My father was a family man. Um... His family comes number one in his life. He was a gentleman. He was really generous. When he became elderly, I was his mum <laughs> looking after him. And you guys willing to be a bit patient if the dog's a little bit timid when they first meet you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah of yeah. course. Yeah. I will rescue this dog and bring them to home that they feel comfortable and happy and have a good life. And so we're saying maybe nothing bigger than a beagle, sort of height-wise. Yeah, height-wise, yeah. height like that. Big, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So no Great Danes. No. 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 <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks, Thank guys. Back soon, guys. See Thank you. you. Soon. It's a nice couple we've got. They're very gentle. They're calm, quiet. They do have a cat, so something yes. that hopefully will be social with cats. They yeah. seem a bit nervous about the introduction. What are you guys thinking? Well, I was thinking little Olive. Yeah, she's oh, tiny. She's, yeah. she's a sweet little girl. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at sweetie. Olive. <laughs> she's so cute. So, I mean, Olive falls in her age, two years, ten yeah. months. Yeah. Um, female. She's a girl. Mini Foxy Cross. Um, so, Olive surrendered to us from our Shoalhaven branch. Her owners were just no longer to care for her. Yeah. She would be a dog that needs inside access, and she would not be suited to a home with cats. Yeah, ah, okay. yeah that's right. <laughs> so, um, maybe, not go. Go. maybe not Olive. Um, yep. We also do we'll have uh, Gigi. Yeah, little Gigi. Little Gigi. She's so ah. cute. <laughs> she's tiny. She's tiny. She's good age, only one. Yeah. Um, obviously, yeah. she's small, she's a travel cross. Yep. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Something they can pick up. Yeah. She um, is a very gentle dog, but she can be a bit timid. She yeah. might be a bit uncomfortable with handling but I think over time she'd probably be okay as soon as she gets near you like mm. she's super confident like what's been your face yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like, she's a lap dog and she'll yep. you. I think she's a good choice yeah, yeah I, I think agree. she's pretty suited yeah team Gigi team Gigi let's do yep. it all right sorry for the wait that's okay that's right. we found you a little girl Ooh. she's one years old yeah she's a little chihuahua cross yeah best of all she's good with cats
Right. That's good. Yep. And her name's Gigi. Gigi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little Gigi. Gigi. So the cats, the cat thing was something we definitely had to look into, make sure that the dog that we picked was going to be okay around the cat. Yeah. Um, yeah. And if the cat is the boss of the house, then <laughs> <laughs> we need to make sure that there's not going to be two bosses. So yeah. yeah. She can be a little timid at first, so she might be a bit scared in the meeting pen when you guys meet her. How are you guys feeling about a little chihuahua? Yeah. Gigi. <laughs> it's your Gigi. Kind of Gigi. What color? <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> My father had suffered dementia. He had been unwell for many years. Uh, we've been managing his condition, even though he lost his memories. He always said, uh, I love you, don't leave me. I'm coming, Gigi, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm going to rescue you. The way he, he, he held in my hand, the way he said, I love you, I will never forget. Nice place. She misses him a lot. She was so attached to him. I said, probably that's the answer to, you know, to get a dog and forget about the uh, pain. I'm so excited to see Gigi. 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 Uh, when I first started working with Gigi, she was very shut down. She was timid. She would sit in the corner of her kennel shaking. But working with her and just being around her and boosting her confidence um, is really uh, beautiful to see. Look at the leg. Look at the prance. Gigi is very curious. She loves a good sniff and exploring the world. Uh, she loves cuddles as well. But it would be nice to find someone patient uh, that can boost her confidence and get her out of her shell a lot more. Good job, honey. You'll be nervous, but I'm, I'm a good mum. <laughs> That's how she's going to react. A dog definitely will take out that grieving process and bring more joy to, to the family. Definitely. Ready to meet your new family? Here she comes. Oh, she's Look so at her. Little Gigi. Good girl. Oh, honey. Gigi, meet your new mommy. Mama and daddy. <laughs> She's a little baby. Poor little Gigi. She's yeah. so nervous. I think that's the first time I've seen a dog refuse to sort of go through the doors. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Most of our guys that end up here are stuffy crosses. So why do we actually get a lot of stuffies? I think because they're just so overbred that nearly everybody has a stuffy and then they get bored of them and they bring them in or they can't look after them anymore and they'll surrender them. But they're seriously, they're my favourite breed. Yeah. They're amazing. They're just the best dogs. Marina might be eager to meet a new four-legged friend. Gigi the Chihuahua Cross has got cold feet. Come on. There she is. Come on down. Oh, oh look at her. Hi. Hello. Hi. So this is Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Hi, Gigi. Hello, Hello but yeah, Gigi. Just meeting new people. Hello. She gets Gigi. a little bit timid. Hello. Oh, Gigi. Oh. Oh, Gigi, it's a bit scary. Come on. Yeah, so Hello. she's a little bit nervous. Um, so first time coming into the meeting pen as well. Gigi, come in. Come on. Gigi. Hello. Hello, Gigi. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> are you comfortable with me just popping outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Chichi. Oh. Not there, here. That's <laughs> yeah. okay. Chichi. It must be so hard. This is going to be such a massive area for her. Yeah. She'd be, she'd be so overwhelmed and feeling like, oh, what do I do? Hi, Gigi. Hello. Hello, Gigi. Hello. 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 Hello.
pitching. Did you sort of just walking up to her and then walking away? So yeah, yeah. They, they have caught her quite a few times, and so she's really ignored them. Mm. Mm. Oh, she found the bed. Oh, she's tired. <laughs> so nice and comfortable. Time to sleep. Time for bed. Curl up in a bed. I've got a beautiful bed for you. It's obviously going to take her a little while to be comfortable just to sit on Marina's lap. And... Yeah. Just needs to have that bit of a connection with uh, Gigi and Marina. Yeah. Gigi. <laughs> Discovery. Yeah. Dogs have uh, got very strong sense of how you're feeling. They sit and put their head on your legs and just just look at you. Just just the look at on their eyes is enough. Chichi, come in. I send it. Chichi. Before uh, losing my father, I had my father's condition, health condition, so. Uh, that delayed it, that delayed it. So the, the right time has come now. I'm ready for a new dog. Pichi! Pichi! <laughs> come in. Thank you, Riley. The big hearted Dikonoski family have arrived in the hope of finding a companion for their granddaughter, Tanisha. And who have we got? Uh, Norman, Tanisha, and Kathleen. And just out of curiosity, how are you guys related? What's the relationship? Oh, they're my grandparents. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and where's mum and dad today, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, mum is at work. I've been living with Nan and Pop since I was a baby, like maybe one or two, I think. They're very good grandparents, that's all I can say. And how old are you? I'm 15. What? Yeah. Girl! <laughs> 15. <laughs> Not long ago, I'm And she's January. still growing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make, make feel alive. <laughs> I can imagine. I've been wanting a dog for a, a long time, but never been able to get one. I've always only had, like, fish, and they don't keep me much company. <laughs> Underwater dogs look funny. Looks a bit like you. <laughs> In the meeting pen, Marina is trying to find a connection with anxious Chihuahua cross Gigi. 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 Hello. Gigi. Hello. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. oh there Aww. we go. So oh, Gigi. She's such like a little baby, hey? Yeah. Come on, Gigi. <laughs> Come on, Gigi. Come on, Gigi. Gigi. Come on. Good girl. Gigi. It's cute though, because her tail's back up. She's yeah. more confident in her walking. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> she seems so happy. Second I give you kisses. You are my family. <laughs> Don't bite by the ears. And obviously she's quite okay with all that handling, which mm. is great. Gigi's done great. Yeah. We know that she's quite a timid dog. And yeah. We know that, obviously, yeah. um, it's really good to see. Gigi. Yes. I guess it's really just up to Kit Kat and what she's going to think of mm. Gigi. Yeah. It's always hard when you have a cat and a dog. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we do know that Gigi is okay around cats. So, yeah. Um, it is. It's it's going to be Kit Kat's call in the end. Yeah, I agree, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Gigi, come here. Come here. If we take Gigi home, it will be a slow introduction to our cat, Kit Kat. Kit Kat will feel a bit uncomfortable. I don't think it's, it's going to take long. For That's both. if we take Gigi. No, what do you mean? <laughs> if we take Gigi. Come on, let's go. <laughs> come on, Gigi, come on, Gigi, come on. This way, this way, this way. <laughs> I want a puppy. 
15-year-old Tanisha has come with her grandparents in hope of meeting a furry best friend. How you going, guys? Good. And what can we do for you today? Looking for a puppy dog. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> so you've been waiting a little while for your own dog? Yeah. Gorgeous. And so you, you live full-time with your pop and your nan? Yes. Perfect. Over the last 22 years, we raised three grandkids. Tanisha, she's the youngest one out of the three. She's been the only child at home now for the last six months. Age-wise, what are we thinking? Well, I really want a puppy. So I want a baby. Like, when I get older, it will be with me, so okay. I'm not too old. So I'm guessing if, if you want something that's going to grow up with you, you don't want anything above, say, three? three They're four, sort three of still in their puppy stage. So how will this dog change your life? Oh, I'm very bored at home. <laughs> and I have nothing to do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nan and Pop. Where we live... It used to be chaotic, but now it's just me at home with Nan and Pop. My sister, she moved out around maybe six months ago. And my brother, he moved out, I think, at the start of the year. It's kind of like really quiet, not having them around. I think a dog will help like me a lot. I always have something to do, and the dog will have a new family and That's a new home to be beautiful. in. So it will be very fun for me. Tanisha does get a bit lonely being the only child at home. She's very close to her siblings. She misses them a real lot. Are there any deal breakers, anything that you absolutely would say no to? Like the bull terriers. Yeah, they don't like them very much. So you're a bit worried about the bully breeds? Yeah. A little bit worried about bully breeds. Okay. Look, when we're looking at a dog for you guys, just so you know, we're focusing in so much on the personality. That's what's really important to us. And I think for you guys, a social butterfly is what we need. Someone who's like, hey, guys, here I am. (laughs) Hello to everybody. Friction for them. After your own kids go and then it was challenging starting all over again with young ones and bringing the young ones back up. A lovely family. Yeah. We've got um, grandparents and Tanisha. Yep. Um, that all live together and this is Tanisha's first dog. And she's been asking for a uh, for a dog for a while, I think. They want someone who's dog social? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Dog social is a must. Is there any other deal breakers? He didn't seem very keen on a staffy, but I did say, look, we're going to be focusing in on the personality. Yeah. yeah. What are you guys thinking? <sighs> okay, it's a hard one because there is one dog that definitely stands out. However, he we know he's got some staffy in him. Yeah. Hey, Maxi. He's awesome. He is such a cool little dog. Super dog social. I know he is so funny. He loves water. He does forward rolls excited and he's active he'd be a great option for them whether they compromise on the breed or not i don't know yeah is there anything else you guys can think of i know we do have a little a little french across oh boston boston Boston. so boston's a three and a half year old french bulldog mix Look at him. <laughs> he's the right size. He's at the upper end of the age that she asked for. His favourite things are personal space, sitting on your lap, and car rides. Look, I can relate. <laughs> Boston, not really a fan of dogs. Dog tolerant. Never going to be the kind of dog you can take to a dog park. No. Um, he can be a little bit funny with new people. But He'd need a lot obviously of... Obviously, when he does bond with someone, he's pretty good. But yeah. he just takes a little bit. All right. Well, maybe not Boston this time. Yeah. Okay. Well, it sounds like Banksy's got pretty much everything they're looking for. Now we've just got to get it over the line with the looks. Yeah. Hi guys. Uh, Hi. So um, we found one that we think is going to be the right fit for you. He's a little boy. He has been with us for a couple of months now. Know him very well, and know he would be very excited to meet you. Absolutely. And his name is Banksy. Thanks. That's what I say. Loves toys, <laughs> loves water. He's a real water Absolute baby. water baby, loves a good swim. He likes to do forward rolls sometimes on the grass. Yeah. And <laughs> most importantly, he really, really loves people. Yes, he yeah. is the social butterfly that you guys are looking for. So it looks like this one be hanging around me more than you. <laughs> <laughs> Now, he's a mixed breed. We don't really know um, all of the breeds that he is. There's a little bit of, probably a little bit of Staffy in there, a little bit of Corgi, maybe. I like to call him a Storgi. It's a breed that I've just made up. Would you like to meet Mr. Banksy? Yes, please. Mr. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen, you look very excited. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Thank you. You're a lovely people. Oh, <laughs> thank you. My nan, she's very, um, she's very kind after everything that she went through. I admire her a lot from, like, all the stuff she's been through and she's gotten liquid as well. We have to go Thank down you. this way, I think. Uh, straight down the end. Yeah, and then this way. Family's, like, the most important thing to me because it's, like, in the end, it's, like, all I've got. 
Yeah, I'm very thankful that they've looked after me. It's been good having her there. Keeps us sort of, instead of getting old, it sort of keeps us young. Yeah, she's yeah, a little doll. Just a ray of sunshine. The right hand side door. Six years ago, Kathy had the aneurysm and stroke, and when I'm she was in, in the hospital, <laughs> they said, oh, she's only got 2% chance of coming through the operation. She was, it was really tough for our family when she went into the hospital because we didn't have her around. And then when she got out of the hospital, Papa had to like retire to help take care of her. I think that's a good seat that you can sit on in. Oh, yeah. Finally, after all the bad things that have happened, all that's like the tough times that we've been through, I think it's good that we might finally get a nice little like thing that will make us all happy. I'm very excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait yeah. to see. Even your eyes are bright. Yeah, yeah. They're like this. I she can see it. She can't wait. Look at my eyes, too. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> We have Banksy here. He is a nearly two-year-old Jack Russell cross staffy. Banksy is very goofy. What did you find? He absolutely loves anything that involves food and clearly rubbing on the floor and rolling on his back. And he really just makes us laugh here. Come on. He's definitely strong for his size, so don't be deceived. He definitely needs to have some ongoing training with pulling on the lead. The thing I love about Banksy is his classic staffy smile. And I just love that he looks happy all the time. Oh, good boy. But she explained everything that I like. And she you. said that it was a water one, like a water dog. Yeah. And so since there's like a river and oh, next baby. door, the pool, I can take it to the pool next door with Amy's. I mean, it's got to be hard. Being 15, having elderly grandparents, you know, they're obviously not going to be that active. So when she wants to, you know, like, go and do things, they're not going to be there to, yeah. to do that with her. Yeah. I think she's very keen to have someone to do stuff with. I, I hope the dog will actually, though. If it does open that, would be sad. Good luck, Bye. Banksy. Ready? Here it is. I knew it was coming. <gasps> Hello. Hey. He's so cute. Hello. interact with he'll interact back with you oh yeah sure so of course he's up and doing that with with norman because norman's up playing with him do you like him yeah and do you love <laughs> thanks it's okay really good to see if we get down and pop out the the pen and just let tanisha down see if she pulls a board yeah, with Banksy. yeah that would be a good idea I don't know, boy. I don't know. You're so cute, and I really, really like you, but... Do you like me? It's hard, like, you know, sometimes you can't build the bond straight away. Yeah. Because it takes time. It takes time. Like, take it home, and you'll build your bond within a couple of days, I guarantee mm -hmm. I don't think you like me very much, do you? I think you like my pot more. I don't like that very much. The hardest part with Tanisha was she only just found out who, who her father was about six, seven months ago. The Tuggerwall? The Tuggerwall? She'd been looking up to find out where they are, where she come from, and what sort of background her nationality is, and all that. 
something good for her. Come on, this way. Come on. She does seem like she's warming up to him a bit more now. Basie's been here for such a long time. I really, really hope they give it a chance. You're cute. I reckon Banksy's a good dog, but it's up to Tanisha. Come on this way. Come on, Banksy. first reaction when we saw Gigi with the door the door open just got us I mean I <laughs> fell in love with her but my concern was is if Gigi comes in and then she would really <clears throat> aggressively attack Kit Kat and that would upset us because she, she's a special cat for us <laughs> but it didn't happen come Gigi come Gigi come 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 Gigi. We brought her home and then uh, we uh, said you're the princess and the uh, Kit Kat is the queen. <laughs> when uh, Gigi first came home, Gigi was cautious, Kit Kat was cautious. <laughs> They're not friends yet, but they can. They are working on it. <laughs> Gigi is very vibrant. She'll do anything to please. Gigi, the house is more happier. <laughs> yeah, no more, no more sadness. I will clean up my head. <laughs> clean it, clean it. Come on, good girl. She's happy with us, so we'll of course, we'll She keep sleeps her. in her in the room, <laughs> on the bed, nicely, <laughs> and she knows her time. Good girl. Good When Gigi came in, she changed our life. I can't imagine living without Gigi. <laughs> beginning meeting Banksy he was a very cute dog but I was just a bit worried that we didn't have that bond but in the end we took a chance and we bring him home Banksy come here come here it didn't take long for me and him to get a nice bond going I think as soon as I took him on his first walk took him on a nice long one I think he started getting more used to me it was raining so it was a bit of an adventure for him he got to run in the mud and all that got all my shoes dirty I think it was very fun for him. Okay. Yeah. Do you help? Tanisha, oh, yeah. you have mud in your shoes. They're best friends now because when Tanisha's not home, I muck around with Banksy and Tanisha goes, Pop, you don't do that, leave my dog alone. <laughs> Since she's got Banksy, she's been out and about instead of being in a room. It's been real good to see. Banksy is definitely a big, very ball of energy. He never runs out of it, ever. Settle, settle. <laughs> yeah, I do love Banksy. He's a beautiful dog. But he's still a troublemaker. <laughs> we'll do something fun. We'll do lots of fun things. Yes, of course we will. Maybe next week we can go climb. Yeah, we can have a look. When we first met Harley, he wasn't what I expected. I was just concerned about his size because obviously the kids being smaller he's a big dog to them and I didn't want them like but then he just came in and he was just like oh hey like yeah he was just so chilled and yeah. like he just was beautiful in the end Harley Harley come on he's a we just loved him too much yeah Harley bonding with the kids has been beautiful to watch especially mm. Levi there's no hesitation there anymore. Like, he lies on the floor and he strokes his head and, you know, and gives him hugs. Just wants to be with him all the time. When I was in my old room where Dana sleeps now, once we went to bed at 8 o'clock and I cried until 10 o'clock, I was so scared. Now I have a little more company because Holly sleeps right next to me. Go step, step. Step, step. Harley's definitely lived up to my ideals of what I want to do. Like, I take him out to my PTs, we go on walks, he's gone to cafes, he can go anywhere. Good boy. Good boy. He's absolutely everything I could have ever wanted in a dog. Are you going to cry now? <laughs> no. <laughs>